All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding out of Mecca, Russia, introducing the challenger, Islam Makacha. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Boy, Ty Plum. Jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. All right, 
guard, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Single column tie now. Big kick land. Big ball for punch land. Now we'll get back to Ray. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Two minutes now to go in round one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Second round underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Five single power time now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. That right hand hurt him a little bit. his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Again, in the clinch. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nice and done. All right, did a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice right hand. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. Now he's got the tie clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he gets it. He hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy. Yep, got to be very careful there. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed.
Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. He's playing the winner by tap out and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world is right. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking